team. Antonio Brown. That's Antonio Brown without his uniform, we are told, without his jersey, and running onto the field. I don't know if that could have been a penalty. All right, Jen Hale, get after that. We got to find out what's going on there. She's got to catch him first. It's unbelievable. He's had his issues off the field. Now he's on the field creating an issue. Low pass hauled in and good enough for the first down. Guys, very odd situation. Antonio Brown boiled over, very upset on the sideline, took off his shoulder pads. Mike Evans, O.J. Howard trying to convince him to keep them on. Obviously, they were unable to do so. He tossed his shoulder pads, tripped off his shirt and glove, threw those into the crowd, then ran across the field while the teams were still on the field, giving the crowd a peace out sign. I'll let you know when we hear something official on his status. Thank you, Jen. It may be an Antonio. Brown out in Tampa Bay. At some point, enough is enough. Brady. Catch inside the 10. Watching the behavior, unusual behavior, in-game behavior of the shirtless Antonio Brown. Mike, not necessarily a penalty because he didn't interfere with the on-play activity. Yeah, if he doesn't interfere with play and he's just headed to the locker room, you're not going to call anything there. He can throw things into the stands. It's a fine if he throws a football into the stands, but you know, in this situation, let him get out of there and don't bring any more attention on him than you have to. All right, thanks. That's the official ruling. Now, whether there'll be some kind of fine. Obviously, the team was frustrated, but over on the sideline, Jen Hale described that, that he was angry. Somebody tried to calm him down. I think it was Mike Evans. So he took off his jersey and then his shirt. And then as he throws this in, he was moving around on the field when they weren't snapping the ball, but the teams were on the field lined up for a play. And there's his I, I've never seen anything like that. Media. I've been affiliated with the NFL for over 30 years, and I have never right. seen anything like that in those 30 years. It, I, it's just baffling. So, yeah, I thought it was like some crazy fan that ran out there at first. And there's a sack, the first sack of the game.